Union tactics revealed secret tape recordings made public. Grand Rapids school officials getting a crystal clear look at what the teachers' unions contemplating in an effort to force the district to agree to a new contract. The head of the union stands by his tape recorded comments while the school board's thinking about taking action against him. 24 Hour News 8's education reporter Tony Taliavia lets us hear what's on that tape. Pens to paper and the school board calling for a public apology over what union president Paul Helder said at a conference in Detroit earlier this month. One board complaint, Helder's reference to the possibility of a strike by bus drivers after the district outsourced busing to Dean Transportation. They're not public employees anymore. I just described that now they have the legal right to strike. So that kind of blew up in their face. Helder says he stands by his comments, but he says that one is missing key context. He says he was just talking about a scenario that could happen, not something he could use to force a deal for his members. I don't have a way to use it. I don't have a way to do that. I'm not the president of their organization. I'm not even a part of their organization. In the tapes, the union president also talked about delaying a part of negotiations called fact-finding. After that's done, the district can impose contract terms. The longer that process goes on, the longer it takes for them to be able to impose on us. Okay? That has to be done. I don't think it's bargaining in bad faith any more than the board's decision to try to ram through fact-finding so they can impose a contract on us would be bargaining in bad faith. Helder talked about the board itself. Basically, what has taken place is last year, uh, we were able to knock two members off the board, and this year we're planning on taking out another two. That still will not be enough. We're a labor union. Okay, of course we're going to advocate for, for candidates that we think are responsible. But the board calls it a plot for union control and financial gain. The board's attorney says some of the statements constitute violations of bargaining rules, and the board may complain to the state. In Grand Rapids, Tony Taliavia, 24-Hour News 8. The tapes were released by the Education Action Group. They're a Muskegon-based organization. They've been involved in school contract issues around the state. Its latest IRS return shows how much the group's taken in, but not the source of the funding. You can read more by going to woodtv.com.